Hi everyone, it's Agnes and off the back of the interview I did with Wayne McDaniel yesterday, I'm going to read the story that we were discussing after he talked about how he does his imaginal scenes. Now, you know I've said repeatedly that when you do your imagining, you've got to look out your own eyes. And I did a YouTube called How to Imagine. I will put that down in the description for those of you that haven't seen it. But Wayne did it slightly differently. And I know some of you have emailed me and you said, hang on a minute, haven't you said that we should imagine looking at our own eyes? The answer is yes. But Wayne has been imagining for quite a long time now and him being an actor and also someone who has practiced meditation, imagining and visualization for a long time, he adapted it, okay? Now, the story we were referring to is from this book, The Law and the Promise from Neville Goddard, okay? So I'm gonna read you that story and hopefully it will help you a little bit more. So it goes like this. In late July, I wrote to a real estate agent of my desire to sell a piece of land which had been a financial burden to me. His negative reply listed all the reasons why sales were at a standstill in that area. And he forecast a bleak period of waiting until after the first of the year. I received his letter on a Tuesday and in my imagination, I rewrote it with the words indicating that the agent was eager to take my listing and I read this revised letter over and over. I extended my imaginal drama using your theme of the four mighty ones of our imagination from your book, Seed Time and Harvest. That's a really good book too. So I'll put the link down below so you can listen to a little bit of that if you wanna go forward with that one. So let me just read that last bit again. I extended my imaginal drama using your theme of the four mighty ones of our imagination from your book, Seed Time in the Harvest. The producer, the author, the director, and the actor. In my imaginal scene as producer, I suggested that the theme, the lot is sold for a profit. As the author, I wrote this simple scene, which to me implied fulfillment. Standing in the real estate office, I extended my hand to the agent and said, thank you, sir. And he replied, it was a pleasure doing business with you. As director, I rehearsed myself as actor until the scene was vividly real and I felt the relief, which would be mine if the burden was already lifted. Three days later, the agent I had originally written to phoned me saying he had a deposit for my lot at the price I had specified. I signed the papers in his office the next day, extended my hand and I said, thank you, sir. And the agent replied, it was a pleasure doing business with you, sir. So five days after I had constructed and enacted an imaginal scene, it became a physical reality and it was played word for word, just as I had heard it in my imagination. The feeling of relief and joy came not so much from selling the property, but the incontrovertible proof, it's a very long word, that my imagined drama had really worked. So this book is the book that changed my life. I read it. I used to get so inspired by this book. I couldn't sleep at night and I'd be reading and I'd get this electricity, the electrified feeling in my body. I was so excited by what I was reading because at that point, my life was not in a very good state. So I'm gonna spend a bit of time reading you some stories from this and discussing this with you in the next YouTubes coming up because this is wonderful and it's very dear to my heart. So I'm gonna be sharing some of it with you. So lots of love and may what Wayne was talking about come a little bit more into focus and that it helps you to understand that even though the regular way to imagine is through your own eyes, that there are other ways of doing things once you've mastered and understood and get comfortable with certain things, that there are other ways around the circle. So lots of love and I'll see you in the next YouTube.